y'all. I just did a one on one with Brian. I did. Hey y'all, good morning. So I am about to try to put these edges on that I was telling y'all about in the last vlog. These right here. These are the ones that I seen um Glenn was on table by when she got her braids. And I already had the glue. Y'all know I went to the beauty supply store in the last vlog, got the glue. So I'm gonna try it out. I don't know what I'm doing at all, but I have to hurry up because my son is gonna wake up soon and I'm on a crunch for time because shit, that always happens to me. Anyways, um, y'all, well, I haven't told y'all, I'm actually going to Dallas today to turn around trip pretty much um, to take a makeup class, which I'm really excited about. Uh, for y'all that been, have been following me for a while or they might follow some of my other socials, y'all know that I do a little makeup here and there. I used to do it on people and on myself, but I kind of just stopped. Um, but I've kind of been wanting to pick that passion back up. I would say hobby, but it's not really a hobby per se. Um, and I just want to sharpen my skills because I'm naturally talented at doing makeup. I've never taken any professional classes or anything like that. I kind of just picked up the utensils, watched a couple YouTube videos and just went from there. Uh, and I'm not bragging on myself. I'm just naturally talented at a lot of stuff. So that's kind of how that went. But I never really took it serious, serious. And I think this year I want to actually sharpen my skills and kind of be more consistent with it, kind of with the YouTube channel. I'm going to just try not to get lost in translation, but trying to do too much at once. So uh, I'm taking a class with um, Ryan Sims Beauty. I don't know if y'all know him or not, but I probably stick his instagram up so you can see um he's blowing up so i wanted to try to go ahead and get in the class because i saw that uh here's the lace i saw that um he had a, a discount on it so i'm like let me slide in there because funny thing is i actually lived in dallas because for y'all that don't know i'm i live in the central arkansas region that's where i'm from that's where i've lived most of my life um I moved here when I was like five from Jacksonville, Florida, because that's where I was born. My dad was stationed there for the Navy. Blah, blah. Anyway, um, I lived in Dallas for about a year from like 2019 to 2020 before the pandemic started. And I was trying to pursue makeup out there. I actually found like a little spot to do, do it at part time. Um, and I knew about Ryan back then and I also consider taking the class i just never really got around to doing it and it was way more inexpensive back then than it was um now but it's still worth it because he is the bomb to me to me in the south region he he like killing it he's like top dog in my opinion so i'm gonna go see him monday i'm just cutting the lace y'all like i said i really don't know what i'm doing but we're gonna figure it out i'm gonna see him monday and take a little um and take a class a one on one. It's three hours long, so I'm thinking I'm gonna learn a lot of good material that I can apply to myself and other people should I decide to choose clients again, um or pick up clients again. So yeah, I'm excited. Um I'm gonna try to get as much content as I can. I don't I imagine he won't let me film the class because obviously you have to pay for it, but I'm at least try to film like me walking into the, you know, establishment and stuff like that because I know he just got a new place and it's beautiful from what I've seen on Instagram. So I'm just super excited, y'all. Like I said, I'm trying to hurry up and put these things on. I don't know what I'm doing. I want to do four pieces, the two edge pieces right here and then the ones on the side because I like those, but Baby, I don't know. Let me see. Maybe it go down like this. Okay, we're going to try to put it on like this. Y'all, I have to have some type of edges because this forehead, baby. Uh-uh. So, it says, applying an upper motion, an upper motion, a thin layer of Salon Pro, 30 seconds, extreme, blah, 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 blah. 
Let it dry for two to three minutes. Bone should feel tacky to the touch, not sticky. Affix the lace netting to the bun by pressing the bun into the netting into, until the wig is securely in place. Okay, so I have to put it on my skin first, which is kind of scary, but uh, I'm gonna start by spraying a cotton around with some alcohol just so it can be extra clean. I'm gonna go ahead and do the upside too, just so I don't gotta waste time. So I'll get all that. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it all the way across. Mm. Okay, got the alcohol on there. <sighs> I don't know what I did with the, okay, I see it. I'm about to say, I don't know what I did with the, the lace, y'all. Okay, ooh, it's very sticky. I gotta hurry up because my son is going with my mom while I'm gone and I want to be out of here by one o'clock. It's like probably like, let me see what time it is. It's 8.14 right now. So I have time, but I know how I am. And then I want to, a couple of my press on nails came off. So I have to re put those on. I told y'all in the last vlog, I'm horrible with wearing press on, so. Ooh, y'all. This is scary. Okay. Ooh, baby. This is thicker than I thought. It's thick like me. <laughs> Let me stop. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side because I mean, it, it has to. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it because I haven't cut that piece yet. So while that dries, I'm gonna start cutting another piece off. Yeah, I can already tell I'm not, I'm not gonna, this not gonna work for me because I'm already weird about lace and wigginess and all that. So, and I'm perfectly fine with doing my own edges. I love to do my own edges. I didn't get that many left out though this time just because for this reason I wanted to try the fake edges but I'm fine with that too because the older that your hair gets y'all know the more like new growth you get the more the edges come out so and it last, it makes your hair last longer well you don't get a lot of your edges left out in the very beginning but um I'm super excited about my new braider she um did a very amazing job this is my first time going to her and um uh, I just wanted something quick where I didn't have to maintain my hair. Normally, I would get like dramatic long boho or something like that. But this time, I just wanted regular length, not loose. That's all I wanted. Just to kind of get a feel of, you know, how she braids and the process. But she braided so fast, y'all. I, I went in there like 9.30 maybe. Is when she started on my head. And I was out of there by like 2.30 and time to pick my son up from school. And she washes and blow dries. Braiders do not do that normally. Not, not the ones that I'm around. Okay, I think, I'm sure it's been like 30 seconds, so. Y'all, yeah, I don't like this. Let me see. Mm -mm. Maybe I should try to put some powder on it, on the lace. Let me see. Hold on. Hmm. Y'all, I'm trying to let it dry down and see. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut a piece of it to see what it's doing. It's not even sticking. Mm-mm, baby. I don't know how y'all do the lace. I can't. I can't do it. And then I don't even think I put it up high enough because I was scared it was going to take my edges out. 
Yeah, babes. It's, it's going to be a no for me. I'm sorry. I, I, mm -mm. I'm not even going to waste my time and sit here and act like I'm going to put these on because I'm not. Um, so let me go ahead and wipe this off with some more alcohol. And then I'm just, I'm going to show y'all how I do my regular edges. Cause I'm a pretty good edge girl, you know what I'm saying? I know how to do a little something, something. Oh my gosh, now I feel like it's stuck. No, ma'am. Not gonna happen, Captain. Okay, so I got a little piece of um antibacterial soap right here. I'm gonna just take that. Just try to massage it in because no, no, no. I could return that glue, but I might need it for something. I'm probably gonna buy me a lace wig or something. I'm putting it on later. Oh gosh, look at this! I don't know if y'all can see that, but no, no, no. Because get this. Oh, oh. You see that? Oh, look at it. I mean, obviously it's glue, so it's supposed to do that, but that's crazy. No wonder people don't be having edges. Mm-mm. I should have used the oil cleanser, which I have. By Burt's Bees. Do y'all use cleansing oils? I want to try a new one. I, I like to use them for double cleansing. So, for example, if you got a full face of makeup on, makeup white, cleansing oil, then regular cleanser. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and, before I do my edges, I'm going to go ahead and wash my face and do my skincare. Um, this is what I've been using. I've been trying to use this up. This is the CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser with Silicic. Silicylic acid and ceramides. Um, it's okay. It's very gentle, um, which is good. But I'm just trying to use it up so I can try something else. I mean, I have something else, but I'm trying to become less of a product hoarder. So, I'm going to use what I have. Then I just take some paper towels, which I like ran out of. I go get another roll and just kind of dab my face. More sanitary, as y'all, I'm sure y'all know. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a really a big fan of facial cleansers that don't foam unless it's specifically made to do that like an oil cleanser um so yeah i kind of let that dry down a little bit i'm giving y'all a whole skincare routine this was not a part of the plan this morning but we're here now so and i do switch my um skincare routine up like normally the next step for me would be a toner and my toner i have two different types of toners that i use one is witch hazel and the other is um something stronger it's by let me see if i can find it really quick this is a witch hazel that i use with cucumber 
and then hold on a second for the toner and then this is the toner that i've been using which you can see i love because it's almost out this is by the ordinary it has glycolic acid seven percent that's why i use it because it's got a high a high acid content and obviously that means it works better um i, I tend to get hyperpigmentation after breakout sometimes but this pretty much knocks it out within a couple weeks um so yeah but i'm not gonna tone today because i feel like my face is already stripped i've been exfoliating a lot so i'm gonna go ahead next with this discoloration serum by good molecules Just rub it all in and get my neck too. Now let that dry down a bit. You kind of want to let your products dry down for a little bit before you add the next product, just so it gives your time, your skin time to absorb. So while that's drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the edges. So trusty dusty toothbrush is what I use and my edge combo is the eco style gel and the got to be glue glued invincible styling gel I combine these two and I put it on with the toothbrush sometimes I wet the toothbrush sometimes I don't it really just depends on how I'm feeling that day what's going on with my hair how old the edges are whether they need to be re reactivated with water um Today, I'm just gonna go in dry and I just start brushing down. I like to frame, I have a very um, unique shaped forehead, so I like to frame it based off of the shape, but you can style your edges however you want. So I just start with this corner here, brush it down a little bit. You see the little hair coming down right there? Um, <clears throat> until I get like the desired look some days i like my edges looking more fuller than others right now i'm fine with them looking sparse because i got a new hairstyle and i want it to last so it's the little you know what i'm saying a little something just a little something you know this right here i can just brush this back and then i normally like to do me a little side piece but that's not even necessary because like i said this is a new hairstyle and i don't want to mess it up I'm trying to have well, let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I hate messing up my braids prematurely. So y'all probably going to get more flicky edges as they get older. But right now, I'm just trying to do something just to help me out. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna um Can y'all see? So you just brush and swoop, brush and swoop until you get it where you want it, basically. And that's good enough for me for the day. You see what I'm saying? Like it's thin, but I know that they're there. They're cute to me. Um, then I just take this gel like that a little bit on my finger. And I just do this on top, on all sides. And then same thing. Rub it in with my finger, kind of swoop it down. That just gives it like an extra hold that you put that gel on top. The eco holds it pretty good itself, but if you got curly hair like me, sometimes you need the extra stuff to really just make sure it don't do its own thing throughout the day, especially when it's hot out. So, yeah. 
I just gave y'all face routine is tutorial. What else you need? What else you need, boo? Anyways, the edges were a bust, so I ended up doing my own edges. I'm probably gonna check back in with y'all once I'm on the road getting in the car ready to go because I'm on a time crunch. All right, check in with y'all later. Forgot to show y'all. This is the last step. Uh, make sure you use SPF. This is what I use. This is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer, and it has an SPF of 30. So yeah, didn't forget that stuff. Just forgot to record it. Hey y'all. So I'm finally on the road. Um, I'm gonna be headed to Dallas. I did leave at one o'clock. Um, so I did make my time that I wanted to make. Uh, just wanted to check in and let y'all know that this is like a five hour drive, five and a half hour drive for me. So I don't know if I'm going to be filming content on the way there or not. I'm going to just go with the flow. Um, uh, but yeah, so headed there. I might check in like when I stop to get gas or when I actually get to my destination. I have an uncle. I have a lot of so much family in Dallas. But my uncle is allowing me to stay in his house that he recently um, bought not that long ago. So that was very nice of him. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to just check in with y'all later. Also because I want to watch my show <laughs> while I'm on this road trip. I've been hooked on Love Island, y'all. Like On Netflix, I'm on season five. I watched season one a while back and stopped caring about the show. But now I'm watching it again. And I'm on season five, and I'm really enjoying it because I love reality competition shows. That's one of my genres. But uh, anyways, I'm going to check back in with y'all. in the city of my destination which is Rowlett um, five minutes away from my uncle's house um, he is leaving the house around 7 30 it's like 6 16 now and his wife is just going to be there so I'm trying to find something to eat in the vicinity goodness gracious okay. I'm trying to find something to eat in the vicinity before I go because I'm starving and I've only had a small portion of a Slim's chicken meal today because I had my appetite has been shot y'all so much has been going through my mind and going on that I haven't even had an appetite um but yeah so I'll check back in with y'all once I get my food or either once I get in the house 
so it was going to be Chick-fil-A for me, but then I realized it's Sunday and Chick-fil-A is not open on Sundays. So I saw a nearby McDonald's, y'all. This is At this point, I'm just ready to eat and go home. So this is going to be what I get. Um, luckily, I'm starting a fast February 1st because I didn't eat now so much. It's ridiculous, but... <clears throat> Pulling through the drive-thru now. Pulling through the drive-thru now. What can I get for you today? Um, can I get a double cheeseburger bundle with no onions? Um, and then let me get a blue, a small frozen um, blue raspberry fanta. Anything else? Uh, no, that's gonna be it. Y'all, they got the bundles. You gotta pay for everything separate where I live. And then I saw this adult tree over there, so I'm gonna go in there and give me like oh, some waters and stuff. 573. All right. Is there another window? Next window. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> Y'all, I didn't know I had to go around to the second window. But $5 for a double cheeseburger, fry, small fry, and a freezy? Come on now. Thank you. Can I get some sweet and sour sauce as well? Yo, the wind's a break. Thank you. Y'all yeah, like sweet and sour sauce on my fries and my um, burger. So I don't judge. But yeah, I'm about to eat this real quick. Y'all don't need to see me eating McDonald's. Um, so I'm going to turn off the camera for that. And then I may go on the Dollar Tree with y'all because I love going in other cities' Dollar Trees because they be having so much good stuff. I'm not going to go crazy though. I'm literally just getting stuff that I think I may need while I'm over here at his house so catch up with you soon I'm about to watch some more Love Island and eat my food and then I'll get back to y'all good morning y'all it's the next morning I did make it safely to my uncle's um I just finished showering it's 6 52 a.m or 6 53 now um I'm about to go ahead and get my day started because I have to be there at 10. It's a 30 minute drive from where I'm at. And um, I just want to get out, actually get in Dallas because I'm in, like I said, I'm in Raleigh. I'm not in actual Dallas yet. And um, just be in the area. But uh, I do want to show y'all what I'm putting on today for the makeup class. Oh, also, I did find a model. Shout out to Joy. Um, she's a former client and sorority sister of mine. Um, she came through, y'all, because she did not have to do that. Like, I know people have jobs and stuff going, and uh, but she, her job is flexible enough, she said, to where she could make it. But anyways, um, let me show you what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this cute, like, burnt orange jumpsuit that I got off Shein, which is actually really good quality, and I'm happy because Shein quality is hit or, hit or miss, and it comes with this, um, this really long shawl cover up and it has like scrunching detail on the um sleeves it's super long it almost like hits the floor long so love that and then i just got a pair of here i'll just show you i just got a pair of um uh, lipper print slides that i'm gonna put on with it and then this is the bag i'm gonna carry my patent letter tail for um, cause it's big enough to hold like my tripod, 
wallet makeup. I brought my own personal makeup too, just in case I do it on myself. And then just some personal items. So yeah, I'm gonna just wear a gold little chunky hoop. This was not my original outfit. I wore an, wore an outfit, or I brought an outfit that has silver detailing, like that I was gonna wear with silver hoops. These are the hoops, cause these are my favorite, like everyday hoops. I found these in my local beauty, beauty spot store, but I lost one of them y'all as soon as I got here and took it off. So I'm kind of sad about that. I'm really gonna have to look for that when I get time. And then um, I had a silver charm bracelet to match that my sister got me for Christmas, but anyway. Oh, and then I'm gonna just wear this claw clip. So yeah, something simple, that's my outfit. I'm in the car now, but something crazy just happened, and just happened to me and I have to tell y'all about this because I know I don't be tripping. So I have two phones. I have my personal phone and then I have this phone, which is like iPhone 14 that I'm doing my content off of, right? I have two chargers in the car. One that's connected to the iPod jack in my car, right? And then I have this one that's connected to this phone right now, plugged in, charging it, that goes to an adapter. It's a C port charger. I have a third charger that's connected to my laptop. I'm looking at it right now. All of them have the tips on them. This one, and then the last one has the thing. Y'all tell me why. This phone that I'm recording on right now, I just go to try to plug it in, and there's a tip to a charger in there and i literally have no idea where it came from because i don't i don't have an idea where it came from y'all look i'm gonna show it to you right now if i can get it i had to get it out with tweezers it was stuck I don't know where this came from. I don't. All of my tips are still on all my chargers. And I literally had to pry this out of my phone and hope that it didn't damage my phone. The only place I've been is my uncle's house. I had both of my phones on me last night. So I know nobody took my phone to try to use my charger or anything because I had it on me. So I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know. But look at that. I don't know where this came from. But weird stuff be happening to me all the time. But anyways, that's another story for another day. Um, it's the next morning. It is 7.45 sharp. I am about to kill some time. I don't know if I should leave right now. This happens every time I get on the phone. With, I mean, on the vlog with y'all. I don't know if I should leave right now and, and get in the Dallas traffic. Because it's a 30 minute drive for me. But I don't know how, what that drive looks like with Dallas traffic. Or if I should make a stop. I'm thinking about stopping at the Dollar Tree again. I did stop last night and give me some snacks. But I want to stop again and possibly get... It was two things. One for sure was another toothbrush. Because I ended up having to use my toothbrush. Thank God I brought my travel toothbrush to do my edges this morning. Because I forgot my edge toothbrush. But it was one more thing I wanted to get. And I cannot for the life of me think about what it is. Um, I'm thinking if I go in there, I'll jog my memory, but at the same time, I don't even know if I want to go. It's not that far away. It's probably like a four minute drive. So I don't even know if they open. They're probably not open now that I think about it. Let me look. Dollar Tree hours. It's 0.6 miles away, four minutes. They don't open till nine. So no, that's a no go. Um, Oh, I know what it was. I needed a nail file because look at my nails. I didn't have time to put my fake nails back on. And I think I left the stuff in the house. And I don't feel like getting out to go back in there, y'all. But I may have to. Because I can't do this now. I can't do this. Like, come on now. Let me see what I got. I got my makeup bag. But I don't have no nail stuff in here. And I'm sad. Because I don't want to um, go in there and disturb everybody. And be like, hey, I forgot something. Let me in. Because uh, I told her I wasn't. I told my uncle's wife I wasn't going to be back until this evening. So, I don't want to be. You know, I don't like coming in and out of people's houses. But, I'm wondering if there's like. 
a neighborhood Walmart or something close that I can go run and get like a little nail file or something and take these off because I some of these I put on with glue and the other ones I put on with the little sticker thing it comes with so I know it's like leaving a residue on there that I need to file off so I'm about to put um I got some Steve Madden shoes in the back of my car that I really don't want to be out and exposed while I'm out doing my errands and stuff so well let me see I might stick them in here. No, I'm, I'm going to stick the shoes in the trunk. And then I have a, a second purse that has some other stuff that I don't want to carry into the class with me. Then I'm going to just hide it in this and stick it, like, in the back seat or something. Welcome to my outfit line. Girl, what Ooh, I'm Look, I'm already off course. So we got this the undiagnosed ADHD. I saw you, so I'm thinking, how can I get from the juice eyes? I have not had breakfast or anything to drink at all. Um, I was gonna be able to come in here and get what I needed and leave. I guess folks be in here still a child because I can't get a nail file, apparently. Sally Henson, second to last. Yeah. And then you also set a nail file. Um, yeah, I have to
<laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> you too. It's got to be something. Yeah, I got it done Wednesday. Uh, somebody in Arkansas. I'm not from here. Oh, you're not from here? Mm -mm. No. You like it here? Yeah, I have a lot of family and stuff here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't move here? Mm -hmm. You like Arkansas better? No. Mm -mm. You yeah. What about um, Dr. Um, Tommy Norman? You know him? The Tommy. policeman that helped everybody. Yeah, I know him. Mm -hmm. You do? Yeah. I love him. I know. Tommy, you live close to him? Yeah, I live like probably 30 minutes away from where he lives. Mm -hmm. Tommy is the good cop. Yeah, he is. Thank you, you too. Yeah, how that lady was so funny that checked me out. Um, she was like, you know, Tommy Norman, the good cop. I'm like, yeah, I live like 30 minutes from him. And she, uh, she asked me if I wanted to move to Texas, and I was like, yeah, eventually. I definitely, I this is definitely like the final destination for me, but I'm not in a hurry because I want my next move to be my final move. So, but anyways, I'm about to um head towards the uh. the salon that way i can just be make sure i'm in the area and there at the class on time i might try to find me something to eat in the area because um i haven't eaten yet still so but it's a 36 minute drive my eta is 850 which is perfect because that gives me time to fill the area out see what the parking is like and see if i can grab something to eat before the class if i can't i do have a little snack that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. It's not in this bag, but it's like a bag of nuts. And uh, I got an energy drink and stuff like that. So, after the class, I'm actually probably going to find a cute little coffee shop to finish editing, editing in. Because I have to get my last week's vlog up today. It's Sunday. so Or it's Monday. So, no later than Tuesday. But I definitely plan on getting it up to, for y'all today. Anyways, um, getting on the road. Want to drive safe. Talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all. So I made it to the the um. Why is my lights on? Is there a door open? Um. Uh, I guess not. Well, um, I made it to the parking lot. Um, it is nine oh three. So I have a little bit less than an hour before my appointment. I don't know exactly where the suite is. So I'm debating on getting out and exploring to figure out where to go. But I'm going to sit here and eat my snack. Um, depending on uh, if I find where the suite is or not, I'm going to maybe do some editing before I go in there. I need to reach out to my model though and see um how far she is I mean, it's still early though so yeah i think i'm gonna get out and explore I feel like my bags and stuff are pretty safe. I saw police walking around. So I'm assuming he's security or whatever. So I'm gonna just leave everything in the car. Just cover it, cover it up. Until it's time for me to go to class. Then I'm gonna come back and get my bag. 
Um, but yeah, I guess I can take y'all on a little stroll. Really. Just kind of get a feel for everything. I'm gonna take my debit card too, just in case I see something. I want to smell some food or something. But um, I'm gonna go figure out what this place is. Hold on. I did have to pay for parking there at the little booth thing. But yeah, I'm gonna figure out where exactly I need to be. That way I don't, I don't be walking up in there late. I don't wanna be unprofessional. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see. What am I gonna see gate right here? So. One minute walk. It's gotta be in here. This expansive workplace building. Okay, so but I gotta figure out the suite. Let me check this room. It's like a taste of an ass Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it, y'all. So I'm gonna just walk back to the car. I don't see no restaurants or nothing around here. So like I said, when I leave here, I'm probably gonna find um, somewhere to go. But this is my view, this is downtown. It's real cute or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm about to take my buddy back to the car and eat my snack. And then uh, figure out which suite I need to be in. so freaking pretty in here oh my gosh i could die ain't prepared today look i should have i should have bought my curls or something. oh for copyright um you can yeah. girl hey, it's flawless y'all i just did a one-on-one -on -one with ryan i did this side which looks identical to the left side so proud of myself have my lovely model joy thank you joy for doing this for me. Of course. Gorgeous. Okay, so I just finished the class of Ryan. Y'all, I did way better than I anticipated I would do. Y'all gonna see the footage. By this time, you probably already seen the clip in my video, but I'm so satisfied with the service, the ambiance, everything was just, everything was just like there. You know what I'm saying? Top tier service. Thank you so much, Ryan. I don't know if you're gonna see this video, but thanks. But um, I have my parking permit until 7 o'clock. So I'm probably going to walk around the downtown area. There's a nearby um, coffee shop that has some, some matcha and stuff. So I might go there and edit a little bit and shoot a little bit of content there. So that's probably next place you'll see me going. I'm going to take a little stroll, walk, burn some calories, go find a, a cute place to edit. Like you 
to these strangers and our two strange lives. It made us new, took us through, woke us up. I believe that no matter what it makes us. last thing y'all saw in the vlog was but i spent all evening trying to upload last week's youtube video and so that caused me to eventually fall asleep um because it took a very long time it was uploaded when i woke up this morning so i'm happy about that i just gotta make a thumbnail now and uh description and try to list some products in the description box but um it's Tuesday morning. I do plan to head out back to Arkansas today. I do want to find some good food to eat because I've been such in a hurry mode over the weekend that I haven't really found that many good places to eat and just enjoy food. Um, white Rhino, White Rhino, whatever cafe was really good though. The breakfast tacos was, and then the matcha was like a dream sickle. It was a green matcha, but it was called Dream Sickle, and it had like orange flavoring in it with oat milk. It was so dang good. Like I wish it was one nearby me. I would definitely go back and get a different food in the same drink. But I think the only one is in downtown Dallas. Let me see. White Rhino Coffee. They got one eight miles away, but that's a 24 minute drive. I'm not doing it. I found this place on TikTok called The Brunch House, which you got to go in and sit down, which is fine. I'm not put together in any way, shape, or form. Thank God I'm naturally attractive, but um, I just want some good food this morning. I don't know, before I head out. <clears throat> I'm just scrolling through my TikTok. See, this is the place right here. Uh, it went off, but anyway, that one's only like six minutes away, maybe. Cause I do want some breakfast type food. They have an, they have an, another broken egg. I don't know how close it is though. They got a place called Toast, Toast. Toast it is what I don't know. Dale Rock Diner. I've seen a couple on Dale Rock Diner, but I don't want to go to no diner. That's not the type of mood I'm in this morning. Um, I'm trying to look at the food and see what actually looks good. Let me let me see how far Toast it is is. No, they say Illinois, no. <sighs> Toast. Okay, I don't see it. So, I'm going to check back, back in with y'all once I figure out where I'm at. Okay, y'all. So, brunch house one. So, that's where I'm at right now. I'm about to go in here see what the food is about. And then, I'm going home.
finished eating, y'all. The food was mediocre. I'm not gonna lie. But the mimosa was good. I had a, I had a watermelon mimosa that was pretty decent. Actually still feel a little buzz from that. So I might have to chill for a minute before I get on the road. I mean, it wasn't terrible. Um, the French toast was just a lot thinner than I thought it would be. Eggs didn't have much seasoning or flavor. And then um, the turkey sausage was just nasty. So, yeah. Not eating there again unless it's just for mimosas because the mimosa was really good. Like, and I feel a little, you know what I'm saying? But I haven't been drinking that much anyway, so that's probably why. But anyways, check back in with you guys later. I also think it's really early for us to be having a conversation like this. For sure. All these moments are so close. back home guys with my my girl nala and my son i just put him to bed he at school in the morning um but the trip was a success um excited for what's to come a little bit nervous about getting back in the makeup game but happy also because of the new techniques that i've learned um but yeah overall 10, 10 out of 10 experience the whole thing so uh, I think I'm going to end this vlog right here and I will catch y'all in the next one bye